in Canada, we have two uh, credit card um, or credit bureaus, actually. One of those credit bureaus is called TransUnion Credit. And the other credit bureau is called uh, Equifax. In the States, I believe it's three uh, credit bureaus, TransUnion Credit, um, Equifax, and I believe Experian might be the third one. But we only have Equifax and TransUnion in Canada. So those two credit bureaus for Canadian customers, they will keep track of all your credit uh, they'll keep track of all your credit transactions that are reported to them by various uh, lenders. So that can include, include credit card companies. If you have any credit cards, then more than likely they report to at least they report to at least one of these agencies, or actually they you, they generally report to both of these agencies both uh, Equifax and TransUnion. And um, if you have a mortgage, they most likely report to both these agencies as well too. If you have a car loan, if you have a bank loan, a line of credit, any kind of credit products, not all, but most creditors will report to... um, these credit agencies and it's even possible if you upon request i think at least in ontario anyways to uh, have them report your uh to have your landlord report your rent payments to um at least one of the two credit uh credit uh agencies and you you are able to request your credit file free of charge by, from either Equifax or TransUnion. I was just going on file, I mean, going online to Equifax and TransUnion and finding out how you can get a free copy of your credit file. So, yeah, they will... Uh, send you a free copy of your credit file upon request. However, if you want to get your credit score, you have to pay, last time I checked, it was about $10 plus uh, tax. So I'm not really here to bitch about the, the written information on my credit file. What I am here to bitch about, though, is uh, something called a FICO uh, credit scoring system. I forgot what FICO stands for, but it's your credit score. And a credit score is assigned to every credit file. And that credit score can be as low as 300 or as, as high as 900. So basically, if your credit score is 650 or more, That's kind of generally about the magic number that most creditors look for. Like most most credit card companies will grant your credit, will will issue you a credit card if you're about 650 or higher with your credit score. Now, um, there's a number of factors that influence your fecal credit score. The most important ones, though, are um, making your, your, all your credit uh, payments on time, number one. And number two, always making at least your minimum required payment and not falling short of that. Those are the most important factors. Other factors they look at is how much of your um, available credit you've used up. In other words, do you have, have, you, have you maxed out all your credit cards? They'll look at how much uh, credit you've applied for, say, in the last three years or so. 
And they'll even look at things like your banking. Have you ever had any bank accounts closed for negative reasons, such as NSF checks or just poor management of your bank accounts, stuff like that? I totally disagree with the whole fecal credit scoring system, though. I think it's completely unfair. Because as I just announced in a previous video that I made about Capital One MasterCard, I have had a perfect uh, credit rating as in doing everything that I'm supposed to do credit-wise since October of 2018. I've made all my payments on time, religiously. I always pay at least the minimum amount that's due. And I, I regularly check my credit files in order to make sure that I'm, uh, to make sure that the information on my credit file is accurate, that it accurately reflects my credit, my credit uh, usage activity. And despite doing everything I'm supposed to do, no, I don't pay my credit cards. I don't pay off my entire balance every month. And I would think that most Canadians probably don't pay off their um, entire credit balance every month. Like all you're required by law to do, according to your uh, credit grantors, is make the minimum payment and make that payment on time. And despite me doing that, my credit score has been below that magic number of 650 for almost the entire time since October of 2018, right to present. In my opinion, the fecal credit scoring system is BS. In my opinion, it's a scam. Also, another way that you can check your credit files on a regular basis, you can sign up with Credit Karma, um, and Credit Karma will give you your uh, TransUnion credit file, or you can sign up with BorrowWell, and BorrowWell will give you your, um, your Equifax credit file. So Google Credit Karma and Borrow Well if you want to um, get a copy of both your uh, credit files here in Canada. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Credit Karma or Borrow Well or anyone else. But that's how you can get current, um, your current credit information. And that current credit information is free of charge if you sign up with both those companies and they'll give you free, up-to-date, accurate credit files. Make sure you study your credit file, check your credit file on a regular basis. If you see any information that you think or know does not belong there, make sure to find out about the uh, the proper channels to fight it. You are able to contact both credit, both uh, TransUnion and uh, Equifax to contest any information that you feel is not accurate. And I very, very strongly recommend that you do that because inaccurate credit, because whatever is on your credit file can have a positive or negative impact on you getting future credit, whether it be getting another credit card, whether it be getting a line of credit from your bank, whether it be getting a car loan, getting a mortgage, renting an apartment, etc. It can all have a huge impact. Even as a matter of fact, even in some cases, uh, your credit file can influence uh, whether or not you get a job. If you have to be bondable, 
uh, to work for a certain employer, then your credit uh, file um, influences your your capability of being of uh, being bonded. So I would recommend checking your credit file on a regular basis and making sure that your information on there is accurate. And my information on both Equifax and TransUnion is very accurate right now, and I check it on a regular basis to make sure it's accurate. But this whole fecal credit scoring system to me is BS, and I propose doing one of two things, either A, revamping this whole fecal credit scoring system, or one of three things, B, um, yeah, revamping this whole credit scoring system to make it that as long as you're doing everything that you're supposed to do, that your credit score remains at at least 650 or higher. Or better yet, get rid of this whole stupid credit scoring system and make it that credit is granted to you According, according to the written information on your TransUnion and Equifax credit file. The fecal credit scoring system is nonsense. And I'm guessing that there's probably many other people that, um, that would agree with me on that. And the weird thing with the fecal credit scoring system is that both my TransUnion and my Borowell um, files give me two different numbers. They give me two different cre- uh, fecal credit scores. And each time someone checks your credit, they get a different credit score than what you see from Borowell and Credit Karma. And as I say, to get your credit file is free from both Equifax and TransUnion. However, if you want to get your credit score, You have to pay for that, which I think is stupid. So that's my two cents worth on the whole fecal credit scoring system.